Now, in this vlog, I'm going to answer a question that you all are wondering. Is Linhof Technorama format 6x17 going to replace GoPro in the field of extreme sport? <laughs> stuck well the big question is uh, is it the electricity or uh, water came into the ventilation I mean the ventilation air section oh. either way not good see this white creamy stuff that shouldn't be there that's water well I just have to clean it and it will run again but you know what it should start now now this air is um, you know free to come in it's unfiltered but i think you know if if there is an airflow if the airflow is a problem it will run <laughs> oh. i was thinking to do a couple of more drives up and down through these puddles but not today still think that you would prefer to see uh, me photographing than fixing a car thumbs up if you like that <coughs> okay here we are at uh, river Temenica and I thought this might be a very good place to try my uh, Linhof Technorama Linhof Technorama but I wouldn't be me if I wouldn't you know do it my way top shit way I brought with me many things. First, a security system. German Shepherd, year 2009. Yeah. Yeah. We have Fluid Kayak uh, model Big Bang with a dry chamber in the back. A drone, Nikon D850 and GoPro and other lenses. All this, just that you press that like and subscribe on my channel. In vlogging community, there is one really important commandment: is not to wear the same clothes and, um, in, you know, the next vlog. And I know what you're saying, Boris, but you're wearing the same clothes. Wrong. For this vlog, I will dress up properly, like a top shit fashion, you know, like a proper top shit fashion. <sighs> Ta top shit fashion. <sighs>
I'm not sure if I will manage to record any beavers because I'm kind of loud and clumsy with this kayak. But there are so many here. Uh, I can show them. I can show you their holes. Hello, Mr. Beaver. They're night animals. They come out at night. I'm pretty sure I will see them, but I'm pretty sure that I will not. I will not manage to record them because my battery is almost dead. I might not record a beaver in person, but beaver can take a selfie. <laughs> so let's put it somewhere. Smile, Mr. Beaver. You're on canny camera. You know where this smoke comes from? It's actually vapors from uh, my kayak. Um, the seat is frozen. Uh, from last time I left it in Land Rover and because it's freezing, it got frozen. But now I have to go into the kayak and into this icy water and get my tracking camera back. If that is not worth to subscribe on my YouTube channel, in spite of all the horrible audio that is featured in this video, then I don't know what. Whoops, it was raining. My camera is underwater. That's not good. Well, 
tracking camera is now in a rise, you know, trying to get the moisture out. I'm pretty sure it will work, but if it didn't, you know, if I'm trying to get an angle, like a new angle, uh, it happens, you know, like I didn't predict that there will be so, so much rain and the water level will rise, but it happens, you know. Unfortunately, I didn't record a beaver, but I did record... Okay, uh, my conclusion is that Linkhoff Technorama 6x17 will not replace a GoPro in extreme sport photography or videography for a couple of reasons. First, it doesn't shoot 4K video. Second, it doesn't shoot full HD video. Thirdly, it doesn't shoot video in color. And fourthly, probably most importantly, it doesn't shoot video at all. The newest a GoPro has 256 frames per second. Linkhoff Technorama has four frames and you have to change the film every time and that takes a lot of time. So that's why for extreme sport I still think that the GoPro is a better camera. Shocking. But Link of Technorama is really amazing camera for landscape photography. Let me show you some results. What I really like with this camera is that um, you know it doesn't distort. Those uh, those lines are totally straight at the far far edge of the frame. Plus um, plus the lens is so sharp. I realized that my exposure time should be shorter because several shots were shaken. Um, it's kind of, it took me a while to figure out how the transport mechanism is, and how the shutter works. So, but you know, but, you know, I'm very happy with it. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and this finding, this conclusion of this vlog that Link of Technorama will not replace GoPro in uh, extreme sport videography. I hope this, this finding will you know, bring peace and happiness and security in your life. So now you know, this is off your chest. I think with news like that, every day is a good day. Don't you think? Please subscribe, press like, follow my channel and do not forget.